Hi everyone, welcome to the Hanya Show solo episode four. And this is um what if. So this is about my personal story, which yes, I recently gave that in somewhere. And if selected, it will turn into a play, which you all know after it, it my first part of this uh this solo video which you've seen earlier had these two K views. So I hope this one also gets hit and make sure when you subscribe in there, make sure you put in there, I subscribe. So I know that you subscribe and make sure you please share and subscribe to Hanya Travels, the Hanya show. So I'm just going to begin. So this is my story. And I'm following my instincts on this, which is why I am doing this video. So this is my story. So this is guy this is me this is my picture at 17 so yes you could follow me on hanya travels hanya is your for inquiries and the hanya show newly added uh instagram page the hanya show and yes this is uh, once again this is me in 19 this is a year before so this so you might know about brooklyn 99 it's one of my favorite shows you often know that I have memes about it and I have different things about it. But yes, I say Brooklyn Nine-Nine show for a reason. So yeah, I love that show too. So I love watching that show. That's why I'm saying it, that I love watching that show too. And I also love um, its things in there too. And you know the Jake and Amy thing, right? So the Jake and Amy thing applies to me and the guy at that uh for actually for quite some time and it still does but in different ways so now you might want to know this story the story i'm going to talk about myself so this is how it is this was actually a book i wrote because i figured out at the time i wanted to actually convince i wanted to convince everyone i was doing it from my end but that went the other way around, but I did my hardest. And so this was the kind of story. It was kind of more like, I named it similar to when Harry met Sally kind of references in like the title in there, like title reference in there. And plus I was given that kind of reference a few times that it sounds like it, but although my story is my own original story, I don't copy anyone on that. It is original and it is unique. My own story of what happened to me. And yes, there's a lot of things in there. So that's one of them. That's why I have this. This was a book I wrote. Now, some other stuff because birthdays are in the same week because my birthday is on August 6th. The guy's birthday was on August 1st every year. And for a few things, August is in August my most exciting month for a really long time. But it was, it was, it was, but for a while it hasn't been the exciting thing. Although I'm 29 now, my story started back when I was graduating from college. So it was May 2013, I was graduating from college. It was totally unplanned, but we ended up meeting in the malls actually by chance with no phone call, no text message, no Facebook message, just like that. So that's when it first got started. Then there was, um, it was the formal 2013. It was the last formal I attended as a Pakistani Students Association uh, executive. That is PSA, Humber College PSA executive. So I was there in my black sari. And during that week, this became official on Facebook because I still remember seeing it now. Then the convincing part. And what I mean by convincing is that I had tried everything. So I had convinced, I had tried my best. I had tried to convince it anyway. And with me, I had my accident, but I was still willing to put up that. I was still willing to go ahead, but no one was letting me talk, which actually, which could have been done in two weeks, which went and stretched out into years and years. And it hurts me every time. So it's like, that's what happened. So you know what you do when it comes to convincing, right? You cry a lot. You try to convince a lot. It's almost like if you're giving a marketing plan, but really it's just a plan about what you want to do, who you're happy with, and all of these things. So it was like that because 
the whole point of that was to get it. The whole point of my convincing was to get to the first step. I wanted to get engaged. So that didn't work out exactly. But I, at the time, I, eBay was new, so I had gotten that ring. So other than the ring, I started writing books. And at that time, I wasn't like a YouTuber, but um, I had noticed that this was becoming a kind of thing on the internet slowly. So, yeah. But other than that, I have something else to share. Um, there is a... Let me show it. If you put in... Google this, you will see there is sulfur search results in here. And yes, there is like pictures of me. But there is one thing in here that still stands. Which I will show you. Which is this. So during that year, which I've shown it before, I wrote this. This was supposed to be meant for a surprise, and I wanted to be at the time I thought I was gonna get engaged. No, it didn't work out. And here is my picture and his. This was taken at some kind of uh, International Women's Day event. And this was his picture at the time that was a few years later somewhere else. But this was actually the only picture of just me and the guy when there was no one because that's the only picture I ever had taken. So that was the only picture I ever, ever had. That there was no one else in there. So, uh, maybe I was not about the pictures, but if I were to get more, that would have been great, but no. So that was my story. That's, so I had written it down in there, and this was actually a few months before I had sent to write book. So this is how it, what happened, actually. So I thought I can, like, you know, keep this as a surprise, this link. That you see that is right from here, but... It didn't happen. So this was the Love Stories project that I wrote. And clearly this was written in 2016. At the time I wrote it then. And then, yeah. So this is the one thing that still remains here. And this is one of its last things in there. But yeah, other than that, like that was one of the things in it. Now, back on to the presentation. So, yeah, but after some time, I was told that the guy had went to USA and still no one was letting me talk. And then, so this, around the same time I had mentioned that this was mentioned in Love Stories Project 2016 because the time I'd given it in there, it was meant to be for many reasons that didn't work out. What happened when it came after a few months, I was told to stop writing books because of this thing on Google, which is actually a good thing that it's on Google because, okay, it's, we have a story. It's a good thing. So it wasn't planned and it's a genuine story, not the story that you want to show everyone, which is like not even a story. My story with the guy is a genuine story. It wasn't planned. It just happened. So... Um, I was forced to stop writing books and actually the guy's relatives had actually brought in the police in this thing. And so, yeah, so then a lot of people actually think whenever they hear it down, I tell them people think I was actually married to the guy. And really, it got a lot more complicated than that. Bringing in the police was actually the one thing that had actually made the situation worse when really we could just talk. That was the most simplest way of all, but no one was letting me. Even now, I still can't get that. So my last book that I had mentioned that I was in this book here. You can Google it. In 2019, I got more and more sad. I was crying before, but I had cried for two days straight. And after that, I figured out, I still cry about it now, but I figured out, okay, I don't know what to do. 
then don't forget about this. In my story, there's a thing with lookalikes. And this lookalike, you can see that looks like kind of like, that's the kind of guys look like here, where who's behind me in the green sari. As much as I wish that was me and the guy, that was the guy's lookalikes. That's a, that's a complicated part. But later in 2017, in 2019, I began my blog, YouTube channel, and now I'm a YouTuber. I run the Hanya show. But it wouldn't, it didn't end up having an ending as much as I wanted to. So it, it was, it went the other way around. And yes, to track my emotions on this, I have a crying track. So this is my story. It got it. It is viral and viral now. So I hope you enjoy this presentation. And this and my question to you is: What if uh, you were in this case? scenario situation that I was in with this guy and it was complicated and all the events that had happened with me wincing the crying and everything what will you do so this is kind of a question you can ask and um please share and subscribe to the Hanya show and be sure to comment below on my question on what if and be sure that when you subscribe put in there I subscribe and also subscribe to Hanya Travels. And thank you for watching The Hanya Show. Thank you.